Right, so again, we're going to forget the instructions of the scenario. We're going to do this scenario in a minute. Um, so let's have a look at the outside of the train first. Some nice details on it. But you'll recognise the sort of the overall structure, very similar to the Talent 2 German train. We're on a game in uh, next um, TS, oh, ATS. I'm not sure what the next American truck sim is. So this is the, the OVB um, 4023. This is by a third party. It's not by Dovetail, although it is released on Steam now. Um, so it's by RSSLO. Why would I pick a night scenario? Because it's... Um, I'm going to run a community scenario, one that Simon Lund made. And um, it does exactly the same journey as the other scenario in the pack. Let's just turn the gamma up a bit. So that you can see a bit better. So this is the uh, the loco. So let's have a look in the cab. In fact, if we go in the cab, let's look in the passenger seat. So this is the passenger view. But no alternative seats in there. That is the passenger view. And then in the cab. So this is where the magic, the magic happens. Um, so in here. Uh, what we've got is uh, a number of controls that we can operate, all your normal PZB. We've got the main switch and the pantograph over here, two horns. Um, you've got the uh, sander control. These are brakes, that's train brake. This is your combined handle, reverser. Oh, sorry, that's not reverser. Uh, this is your door interlock, so you can choose left or right doors. Um, let me just have a look on the cab thing and see if I can just put a sensible cab background on. I believe I've got a 442 and that would be better than nothing. There we go. Right. So, next thing is, you've got, if you press the right arrow key, it puts you looking up here. So we can see what's going on up here. Now, there's, this is how we can start the local. So this has actually got um, a start -up, a proper start-up sequence. So the first thing we need to do is turn the battery on to start, uh, which gets us A. Then we'll get the B voltage comes on we go to D so now let's put it on the put it on lights uh, we need to turn C for on and PZB on and then down here we put the key in turn click it again to turn it on the train is now sprung into life automatic wipers as well uh, which is quite fun uh, we turn the pantograph on we turn that on Pantograph should be rising now. There you go. Pantograph's coming up. Uh, we need to um, swing to the left to open the uh, doors. So we'll notice the screens come on now. We'll play that in a minute. Uh, we press the T key now to actually open the doors. And the light comes on. So we can now press plus and we can try to toggle around with different views. Now these are static images. These are not. They're always going to show the same thing. But it's something to play with. Uh, and you can turn it on and off. Um, cycling around between the different views. So at some point the doors are going to close once the uh, light there goes. Now you've also got, um, one thing we didn't set up was the PZB. So around here, when you press right again, you get this control. So I want to set this up to be um, 080. This is all in the manual. Uh, and I'm going to set it up as 115 because we're a, uh, we're a, we've got good braking. This is the braking power. So you press confer. So you press. So you press this button, which is the mode. That's it. And you press confirm, and it'll update it. If I drop that to 110 and press confirm, it changes it. Now what that means? And there's other modes in here as well. Like you get the time of day. You've got the date, none of, neither of which you can change. So you can play around with this stuff as well. Essentially, this is used to um, set the PZB mode. So at the moment, if I go left and I put the thing in forward, we've gone into PZBM, and that's because I've told it the braking controls are, are only are only allow me to be effectively within the range of a PZBM. Again, the information about what numbers do what is in the manual. This is a pro loco, meaning you are expected to read the manual for this train. This is not a loco you can do without reading the manual. If I take it out of forwards and we play with this again and we make it 115 and confirm that, 
if we now come around here and put it in forward, you'll notice we're now PZB O, which is the faster one. Um, so now that the doors have closed, release the doors and the doors start closing, you can hear them. The doors have just closed. And this, these two lights, so the, this tells me the doors are open, these tell me the doors are closed and locked. So when you, clo when you shut that thing, this goes on. Once the, lights are, um, the doors are closed, this goes out, this goes on. At this point, I'm ready to go. So I need to release the spring brake, which is this one here. So if I press and hold that, the light goes off to tell me the spring brake is off. So I think that's that, like a handbrake. If I now... And then I can apply power... <coughs> I can apply power. What have I done wrong here? Ah, see, this always happens. Every time I do it, I do something wrong. I don't know what I've done wrong. <laughs> Typical. We've got wiper mode. Reverse is that one. That one's on. Those are on. These are B is fine. Why are you trolling me? Cruise control. There is full cruise control on this thing. Um, let me turn the mouse arrow on. Everyone kept moaning at me because it was on before. But I'll turn the mouse arrow on now. Hopefully now you can see. You can see my mouse arrow. That's done. That's done. These are lights. So you've got a uh, cab light. You've also got a night light as well if you flip it the other way done something wrong and it won't move. That's the piece of B ones. That's all done okay. The light is on okay. If you look out the front, you can see the headlights are on. I had this working earlier on. In fact, I had it working really well. So I'm not quite sure what I've done wrong here. Ah, there we go. When I flicked the main switch, it uh, it hadn't actually done it the way I was hoping it would. There you go. So you can see we've gone into restrictive monitoring. I thought I had done the main switch, but apparently I hadn't. So you've got C for light comes up here, and you press and release Q. Too, and you hear that squeak. That's pressing it, releasing it. Or it actually, in the case of the pedal, it's actually technically releasing it, pressing it again. But don't worry about that. Press Q, release Q to reset it. So we're still in restricted monitoring. We have a green light, so you can press N to come out and then get up to line speed. Vicky Ack, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Map's a bit zoomed in. Yeah, that's zoomed out. It is a bit, isn't it? There you go. So basically, that's that's this train. There's a bit more to it. I'll let you discover that. So you've got things like the cruise control and all sorts of other controls that you can play with, and everyone knows how much I love cruise control. It's very feisty, I will say that about this. If you put the throttle up to full, you will get drive quality errors the whole time. You've also got different um, modes, technically, because you've got, if I look at it this, you've got neutral. If I now tap it up to throttle, it's still not applying any throttle, but I'm in the throttle mode. If I now push it up a bit, I start getting throttle applied. The same applies to the brake, because it's a combined handle, so if I put it back to neutral, put it over to brake, still not getting any braking, but I can tap it now and I start to get braking. It's combined e-braking and air braking, so it's blended, just like the BR442, so if I apply brake, you can see the air brake is working, and you can hear and see down on the HUD that the dynamic uh, electric brakes are working as well. So I put it back into throttle. Now why I mention that is, what I found was that when you are driving, if you just want to, don't keep putting it back into neutral, because if you just want to keep Put in power on, take it off, put it on, take it off. Um, then you 
put it to the minimum throttle and just keep adding on and off. That way you haven't got to go through this notch into neutral, which can make it to where, because you've got to press and hold it, and you could end up holding it for too long. Yeah. Now, what I'm going to do in a minute is I'll, I'll do a start-up sequence one more time before we finish, so that we can just make sure that works. Oops. <laughs> didn't acknowledge something. <laughs> oh, yes, it was a speed reduction to 60, so I needed to acknowledge it. Twit. Air brakes are finally released. You've also got a lot going on down here that you can play with as well. So you've got um, the stuff going on here, and you can even play with the number. So I can say it's three, four, five, uh, six, um, and I can. Oops, use a way out of it. There you go. <laughs> if in doubt, just press the button. You've got the braking control here, so see the brakes coming on in around the train throughout the train. Um, turn it back on and off. I'm still not 100% sure how you operate this. Couplings don't seem to do anything. Got this one, which is your voltage, I think. This is the thing for adjusting your cruise control, plus and minus 5 kmh. There is um, so if you're in uh, Brems, you press the G, I think, to get back to home. There you go. Um, Get into the station, shall we? <laughs> restricted monitoring. I'm going to end out of restricted monitoring. I can't. Superb. What you have, what I found, you have to do um, is when that CIFA goes off, you, you'll notice if you listen to it, you've got those two squeaks. Let me turn off the throttle. The two squeaks. So press, release. If you do it too quickly, you only get one of them. And in that case, it doesn't actually do anything. So you want to firmly press it and release it. Don't try and do it too quickly, it doesn't work. So we'll just, just stop here. another look outside so again when you stopped at a passenger station left you set it to the right location for the doors and then press T to open the doors and then you'll see the doors have opened they will now stay open until I really until I relock the doors again so if you watch the red thing down uh, the, the bar down here you'll notice when it finishes the doors don't close it's up to you to manually um, put it in Rigsy, what is the HTML5 player beta in your player options? HTML5 player beta is a new thing in Twitch which lets you, it's a more efficient, faster, better viewer than the old Flash based one I think it is that everyone's been using up until now. Ignore that score. Um, okay, so notice the doors have stayed open. So we now come in here, the yellow light is on, tells us the doors are open. Put it back to middle, here the doors close. Once they've closed, switch over to the blue light now I can apply power first few times uh, I had a little bit of a challenge because I was trying to apply power and it just wouldn't apply power but what have I done wrong and it's basically just waiting for the doors to close wait for the doors to lock and then you're okay to go I was some restricted monitoring <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Thinking about what I need to show you and uh, not focusing on what I'm doing. Right, let me restart this so that I can do the, I can just show you the startup sequence again and then we will uh... Well actually, let's just run the scenario. 